crusade to get positive information about breastfeeding out there and to um, shatter some of the myths about formula, that it's a, a good thing or uh, even a reasonable compromise when it comes to breastfeeding a baby. Um, what I wanted to talk about right now is uh, the fact that a lot of people will try to make um, homemade formulas in place of commercial formulas. Um, and even commercial formulas, you know, a lot of the time are based on cow's milk or goat's milk. And the thing is, is that unmodified cow's or goat's milk can cause uh, some real metabolic problems in babies. And that's kind of more direct at those who would make um, homemade formula because, you know, some people don't want to do commercial formula and they don't like all the, the garbage that's in it. But homemade formula can can be a problem too, and while it's probably better than commercial formula, you don't want to elect to do homemade formula if you're capable of breastfeeding. Um, as for commercial formulas that are grain or legume based, um, they're based on carbohydrates, and they are low in fat, and they're low in protein, and they're not an, ad an adequate source of nutrition for an infant, and that um, is something that escapes people's minds a lot of the time, the non dairy formulas are just, they're not adequate for infant growth. Um, human milk has a lot of lactose in it. Lactose is a milk sugar, and it's a good source of carbohydrates. Human milk has three different kinds of proteins, whey, casein, and non-protein nitrogen, and those are all um, very critical for a developing human being. Cow milk, the protein um, in cow milk is mostly casein. Uh, Human milk has about 40% casein and 60% whey. And cow's milk has 80% casein and 20% whey. Uh, clearly a very big difference. And that leads, that 80% of casein in cow's milk leads to the large undigestible curd that cow's milk forms in the stomach of an infant, which, which is touted as being a good thing because it keeps baby full longer, but really uh, it's just a symptom of baby not having a very easy time digesting its food. And you know, the more energy it takes baby to digest the food and the less optimum nutrition it's getting out of that food it's working so hard to digest uh, it can obviously <laughs> compound into problems with baby not being nourished in the most optimum way um, another thing about human milk is that there are lots of bacteria called bifido bifidobacterium and lactobacillus uh, in the gastrointestinal tract of a breastfeeding baby uh, it leads to a lower pH lower acidity of the gastrointestinal tract, which leads to softer, more appealing, less nasty smelling stools, and which also uh, leads to no constipation. Healthy breastfed babies are never constipated. Um, so these are just some more reasons why formula definitely is not optimum, why breast milk is really the way to go. Um, this is in response to the recent U.S. release of the breast milk baby. Uh, I I'm trying to combat the initial surge of negativity concerning this doll by getting positive information about breastfeeding out there. And I would just encourage anyone who uh, supports breastfeeding to support this doll, to support the company who makes it. Um, you can find more information on this by going to www.thebreastmilkbaby.com.